Today I'm going to talk about my favorite game mechanism in Frog Riders. This is a game from Stronghold Games that came out, I think about a month ago, and I heard a podcast talking about it, and it sounded really cool because of a certain mechanism that it has that I already know I really like, and I want to mention that mechanism in this video. Um, there's a mechanism, uh, you might call it the checkers mechanism. Uh, it's also seen in that solitaire game at Cracker Barrel. If you've ever been to a restaurant called Cracker Barrel in the U.S., they have this little solitaire game with little pegs, and you try to jump over the pegs, um, your own pegs, to eliminate them. And if you can uh, weave your way through that, through that mechanism, through that game, so that you only have one peg left at the end, you are the ultimate winner. I don't even know if it's possible to do, but... Uh, it doesn't matter because we're talking about Frog Riders today, not the Cracker Barrel game. Frog Riders is a two to four player game that uses that same uh, jump mechanism and it uses it with frogs, which makes sense because frogs can jump. So what I'm showing you here is the game board with all the lily pads. You put a bunch of different frogs on this game board at the beginning of the game. Uh, just randomize the different colors throughout the board. The colors don't correspond to the players. Um, rather, the colors mean something when you gain the frog. So they either mean something for end game points, you, there's some set collection. Um, when you, whenever you jump over a frog and you gain it, you can either keep it for end game scoring or you can discard it for an instant bonus. And that instant bonus depends on the color of the frog. So they did some really interesting things here uh, with a very, very basic mechanism. Um, I, I like the, all those different elements, especially the colors of the frogs. Uh, I found myself wanting a little bit uh, to kind of have my own lily pad. The player interaction was really interesting, um, but uh, but I, one of the reasons I'm mentioning this mechanism in the video is because I like it so much, I would love to also see it in a game where every player has their own uh, you know, jump area, whether it's a, a frog lily pads or, or whatever the theme of the game is, and then on your turn, you jump over something gain it and then do something uh, related to whatever you gain like that's the action that you take on your turn and so it gives you it, it, it's this uh, it's a rewarding feeling I think to, to to gain something and have a small amount of planning go into it because you're like okay if I go here then I'll open up this or if there's this one like really really good frog in the corner that I need to get to that I need to think a few turns ahead to get there that's very gratifying very satisfying so I really like that element of the mechanism I, I may have seen something like this in Forge War 2, which I haven't played. Again, I believe in Forge War, the area of the board that does this is, uh, is public. It's shared by all players, not just you. And so uh, wh while I like, the, um, I like the player interaction that this causes, I'm also curious to see this mechanism in a game where I have full control over my own little uh, pegboard or whatever it is. But maybe this game already exists. I would love to hear in the comments if this game already exists. Uh, where everyone has their little solitaire pegboard and maybe the, the player interaction happens some other way. I would, I would love to, if that were the case. Um, or if you have a favorite mechanism in Frog Riders that you'd like to talk about in the comments, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks.